Now we're going to talk about variables and expressions, which are important topics all the way through high school algebra and beyond into later math classes. So write these down in the notes, write these terms down, and think about what you're writing. When we do arithmetic, and we just simply mean adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing, when we do arithmetic we use numbers. That's what arithmetic is. It's adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing numbers. So, for example, 2 plus 3. That's basic arithmetic. Add those. 2 plus 3 is 5. When, when we're doing algebra, we use variables. It's very, very common in algebra to have variables instead of numbers or in addition to numbers. So instead of 2 plus 3, we might have x plus y and x would have some value and y would have some value each of those variables would represent a number but we would add them together just like that and while we're saying some things about variables let's make a comment also about expressions we said earlier that an expression was either a number by itself or multiple numbers combined with addition subtraction multiplication or division now we're going to add the fact that expressions can also include variables. So an expression should be considered one or more numbers or variables combined with arithmetic operators. So this 2 plus 3, that would be an expression, and this x plus y, that would also be an expression. Those are considered mathematical expressions. The x plus y happens to, con to contain variables, but that's okay. Expressions can contain variables or numbers or both. One of the things you need to be able to do in algebra is use variables to write mathematical expressions. In other words, you need to take certain concepts stated in English and write those ideas mathematically. And we'll start with some simple addition. And here are five examples. Notice the quotation marks just emphasizing that these are statements in English or, or concepts in English. The sum of A and B. Mathematically, we're going to write that like this. A plus B. And you should see that that is the sum of A and B. That's how we take this statement in English and write it mathematically. And we're going to do that for these other four statements. 5 more than x. How would we write that mathematically? 5 more than x. Well, there's x. 5 more than x would be x plus 5. d increased by 3. Well, if we're increasing something, we're adding to it, so this would be d plus 3 x plus y, that's pretty easy to write mathematically, we just write x plus y. And 4 added to k. We'll write k and then we add 4, so that's 4 added to k. In each of these cases we've written a mathematical expression that is equivalent to the idea expressed in English. Now take note that sometimes you see some things that look like a mathematical expression with, at a quick glance, but they're actually mathematically meaningless. What if I had this, for example, 5 plus divided by x? That doesn't mean anything. Plus divided by, that, that is not any kind of defined operation. You don't have plus and division right next to each other in any mathematical uh, statement or operation of any kind. This something like this is usually a typographical error, a mistake. Or if you had a plus times b divided. These are not properly considered mathematical expressions. These would be considered mistakes of some kind.